This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. Anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking? See I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the data released us is false. It many gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the bad actors, naked shorting GME, are not going to stop until they run out of money or the SEC, DOJ, FBI step in and, you know, enforce the rules of the market. And I know a lot of you guys think that the price of GME is probably at its peak. Okay, because of course the shills, you know, they, they said this is AMS GME is not going to go any higher. I believe that is a false statement. I believe that's a false statement. In my opinion, GME has not reached its real value. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell GME. I'm telling you that a company that's sitting on over $4 billion in cash with hardly any debt and a player at the helm in Ryan Cohen is not going bankrupt any time soon. It's just not going to happen. And like I tell you guys every day, the only people staying in this GME play who are shorting it are people who are trapped in the play. They can't get out. They created too many GME counterfeit short positions. And in order to keep those short positions, they got to keep adding more counterfeit short positions every day. This is run just like a Ponzi scheme because you need new counterfeit shares to cover the old counterfeit shares in order to keep the Ponzi scheme afloat. And that's what we're looking at. OK, that's what we're looking at. And if you're holding GME shares and once again, I'm not trying to buy, hold or sell GME, but if you're holding GME shares, it costs you absolutely nothing to hold. But these bad actors, they got to put money in the play every single day to keep it suppressed because the minute they can't suppress it anymore, the price starts moving up to its true value. And that's what they're afraid of. And you know what they're terrified of? You know what keeps them up at night? What keeps them up at night is Ryan Cohen making an announcement that's going to be fabulous for GM. E, if he announces some type of collaboration, some type of investment that changes the game, all the Jimmy Naked Shorters, their nightmares will come into fruition. Okay? That's what's going to happen. Anyway, anyway, let, 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 let's, let's look at the numbers. This is my numbers videos. Okay? The volume, their report is 9089246 the volume is dropping. People think that's a bad thing. I personally don't think it's a bad thing. It means that the the bad actors, liquidity isn't there to be suppressing the stock as much as they would like to. Okay? When the volume is running, 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 when it comes to AMC and GME, it's called the bad actors have money to play. When it's going down, the bad actors' money is running low. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. They're claiming 26.78% of the shares of DRS. Eh, you guys know those numbers mean absolutely nothing. They claim they can cover all their GME, their GME short position in 4.3 days, okay? They can claim and cover them in 4.3 days. It's a little bit higher than the day before, so at least they are acknowledging that they're adding more GME short positions and they're not covering the old short position. Do I think they can cover in 4.3 days? Of course not. Of course not. They can't cover in 30 days. Okay? I don't believe they can cover all their GME short positions in 30 days. <clears throat> I believe it's going to be a long ride to the top. Okay? And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell GME. I'm just telling you, based on everything I've seen over the last three years, they're not going to be able to close out all their GME shorts in, in one week or two weeks or three weeks. It's going to take at least four weeks based on all the counterfeit GME shares that I believe are out there. Okay? And 43% of that 
diminished volume with shorted shares. So they found like 4 million new GME counterfeit shares to short into the market to manipulate the price. And of course, the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI are not going to ask the right question. They're not going to ask them, where did these shares originate? Who did you borrow them from? Where did they get them from? I mean, the simple questions usually give you the correct answers. The simplest questions usually give you the correct answers. But the simplest questions exposes the fraud and corruption. And because they own the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI, they won't ask those simple questions because they don't want retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules being aware of all the fraud and corruption. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think they can cover all their GME short positions in 4.3 trading days? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.